In this video, I'm going to show you how to refill the windshield washer fluid on your 2003 to 2006 Infiniti G35. It's a very easy process and it only takes us about two minutes. Open the driver's side door. Now, once you open the door right by where the driver's left side foot goes, that's the primary hood release lever, so pull it. Now, in front of the vehicle, right on top of the logo there, put one finger in there and push it left, and the hood opens up. This hood needs a prop rod to get the rod out. And we need to put the rod in the slot with the arrow marking it over there. Put the rod in there like that and then let it go. Now once the hood is open, you see that blue cap over there? That's where you fill up the windshield washer fluid from. So open up the cap first. Now that's where you fill up the fluid from. You can either just put water in it if you're living in a place where the temperature never goes below freezing temperature. Uh, but if you're living in a place where it does go below freezing, then you definitely want to put windshield washer fluid and not water because water is going to freeze. And the thing to keep in mind with windshield washer fluid is it's not water, it's chemicals. So be careful with it and read all the warning labels over there. And uh, it could be poisonous if someone happens to drink it. So it's not fun in place, it's not water, it's chemicals. So keep that in mind. See, it even has a safety cap on it. It doesn't just have a regular cap so you can just open it up easily. The way to open up a safety cap is you need to squeeze it over there and then twist it left. And then the cap opens up. Now some of the new bottles may have a seal over there at the bottleneck in order to prevent leakage before you use it for the first time. If your bottle happens to have a seal, make sure you open it up completely. You take the seal off completely using your car keys. Now hold the bottle the way I'm holding and simply start pouring the fluid in. And once you see the fluid level come all the way to the top, like that, then you can stop. And now you can put the blue cap back on. And you can use a piece of rag if you have one to clean up any spillage. Don't forget to put the cap back on on the windshield washer fluid bottle. Make sure that it's tight. Now in order to close the hood, first you need to push the hood a little bit. Get the rod out, like that, put the rod back in its place, load the hood, and then slam it shut. If you like this video, we got a lot more videos made just for your vehicle. So check out the playlist over there. And if you have a friend or family who can benefit from this video, please share with them. Till then, drive safe and thank you for watching.